All right, today we got another new Milwaukee tool. This one we saw first at MPS. This is the installer driver. So I've had good time to work with it on multiple different projects, a lot of different finished products and stuff. This is the installer driver. So kind of a unique design. There is another design real similar to it on the market. If you look, you'll see the uh, Festool CXS. They are really, really similar in the design. A couple other uh, drivers have kind of the same uh, concept of this. Like I said, Milwaukee, uh, they launched this a couple months ago, end of summer uh, is when it came out, beginning, beginning of fall of 2019. So the, it's 12 volt M12. The really cool thing about this drill is it comes with four different heads. Um, you don't have to use heads with it. Uh, it has a quarter inch uh, kind of little chuck thing on it. Uh, that's also magnetic, so any from a one inch bit, even these uh, like two or three inch bits will work, uh, and the magnet will hold it in um, pretty good. But also, that same thing that drives that also drives these heads. So, you got your standard uh, chuck head. This is a metal, it's nice metal uh, chuck, no plastic here. It's three eighths, so you know, you're not going to be putting uh, super big hole saws or stuff on it and uh, you can put any regular uh, any regular bit under three eighths any drill bit a uh, quarter inch bit something like that some smaller paddle bits will do fine uh, another thing too so it has also just a quarter inch collet that you put on here now what's the difference between just putting this on here and this well you can actually get it to lock on so if you've got some kind of drill bit or something that has a half inch hex and you put it in here and you drill it and you pull it back out, that magnet's not super, super strong so it would stay in the wood. So it's nice to have this collet that actually holds it on. And another nice thing, that this shares alike with a lot of other Milwaukee quarter inch collets, some of their impacts and stuff. You can just put it in without doing that. It stays in. Just pushing it in, you get used to that real fast because if you have any other impact driver that doesn't do that, you find yourself pushing it in or something like that. Um, so another thing also this has is the offset head. So this is really nice for getting in the corners. You can rotate this all around, put it in, and then it accepts your uh, quarter inch to as well this works a lot better with a little smaller one inch a one inch bit quarter inch bit it stays in there a lot better if you put one of these that has an indent that's supposed to be locked in this magnet could be stronger it it sometimes i'll have stuff kind of fall out if it's a little bigger of a piece but other than that you can get it i mean you can see you can get it real tight in corners and stuff last head is a right angle head um, and all these heads you can it's got like i don't know 12 15 different points you can click it in around so you can click it anyway and and the cool thing about this right angle head is any of the other attachments you can put on it and work with any of the other attachments or you can put a bit right into that same same design as what's right on the drill. Um, so all these are actually really easy to get on and off one-handed like this. It has a collar you pull back and you gotta uh, kind of twist it in there so it lines up with that hex and then it has the indent, indents on it too. Um, so that's really really easy to uh, get in there. So let's talk about that actual drill. The one kind of annoying thing with this drill is they went away from a traditional forward and reverse trigger like are on 99% of other drills. It's actually a little button right there at the top. And because of the design, it's kind of like almost a drywall gun. So uh, really you're gonna 
pull the trigger with your middle ring finger, something like that. Which, so it does, it's not in a bat, it's not like it's hard to, to do forward and reverse on this at all. It's actually really, really easy to do forward and reverse. It's just in the right spot. The only thing is, if you've been in carpentry or anything for as long as you, uh, I've been, you're used to pushing it back and forth. So you reach to push it there and it's not there. It's right at the top. Um, and so you push it once, it goes reverse, push it forward. You hold it down, it, it, uh, it'll go, it'll lock. So uh, it won't go off. It also has a, a one and two speed transmission. Also, it's got a clutch on it, which is really good if you're using it for screws and stuff, not to strip out any screws. I was using it for some brass screws and it did wonderful. It's got your belt hook on it. You can reverse either side. And then also in this front part, it's got a magnet, which it could be a little bit of a stronger magnet. Some of the magnets on this, it'd be nice if it were a little stronger, but you can put an extra bit and stuff something right here in the front, a couple bits or a, a screw, a few screws or something, kind of hold it there, extra hand, make it real convenient. It, if you knock it, sometimes it'll fall off if you knock it hard enough. So it's not a super, super strong magnet, but it'll, it'll do. And then like any drill out today, it's got the light on it. Um, so one thing I did notice with this is the runtime was pretty good. I got a 2.0 battery in here. Power is pretty good. But if you put a 4.0 battery in it, I was actually able to have a bigger kind of Forstner bit, a door jig I use, a Templeco door jig, and it's got a two and an eighth inch bit a spur bit and this thing was able to turn it but only on the 4.0 battery the 2.0 battery it kind of stalled out the 4.0 battery it powered through cutting through that solid a door like no problem but with the 4.0 battery on it doesn't really want to uh, stand up if you have a head on it, it it's kind of top heavy but actually with the smaller battery because it then it utilizes this whole base it will stand up with the smaller battery on it uh, that's the that's the only thing. So 99% of the time I use this uh, smaller battery unless I want more power. It does have a noticeably more power uh, with it on it. Um, I this is one of those things I was kind of skeptical about. And the more I used it, the more I did like it. Uh, so much so that I kind of set it up in a sustainer because uh, all my finish tools are in sustainers and put some Kaizen foam in there. And I paired it with this little M12 Surge. So this M12 Surge is hydraulic tiny little thing. So having two of these both in the same case together make it really, really nice because it can do 99% of all the, like for trim work, mill work, installation, door, hardware, all that kind of stuff. Perfect setup for both of these uh, together. They don't come in a kit together like that. So you do have to buy them separately, but uh, this comes and you can buy this bare tool or as a kit. You, either way you buy it, the bare tool comes with the heads as well. The only difference with the kit it comes with is the uh, charger and two 2.0 two batteries. Um, so, uh, but yeah, this kit that I put together, if you did it like this with a 4.0 and this kit with two 2.0s, two it makes an awesome little installer's kit. Uh, highly, highly recommended. Um, great, great little thing. Very versatile, so you're not having multiple drills and stuff. You don't have to have a whole right angle drill, a whole, uh, you just have your one quiet impact. Uh, and then I have enough room in here for this little, you know, bit set too. Everything fits in there really nice. I will definitely, this is coming like a permanent thing I keep with me in all my trim jobs and stuff now. Not a tool that I review and just don't use as much. There are some of those, but this one's more of a permanent uh, what I use because you know I'm actually doing all kinds of work and and stuff. So I'll put a link down the below for the work to get maybe this exact setup. If you want this exact setup, you can get everything like this right here through Acme. I'll have the best deals on there. So I uh, hope you liked the review. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more daily posts and my stories and stuff, some how-tos. But and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.